So let's follow our Jersey Square team and see what they did with customer segments. Now, what happened is they got out of the building and this time actually spoke to a series of customers. They spoke to over 60. And what they found out was what they originally thought was a single customer segment actually turned out to be there were two separate segments. It turned out there were the original segment they thought, rabid sports jersey owners who were male, 13 to 35, who passionately followed their team and went to a lot of games. But there were also people who casually attended games, male and female, and they uh, kind of were closer to 18 to 30, and they were casual fans. So number one is you can now see that there are not only two customer segments, but there are two value propositions. That is, there's a value proposition that matches each one of the segments, and there's a revenue stream that matches each one of the segments. And so now you could kind of see the power of the canvas. This is a multi-sided market. Uh, you have at least uh, two customer segments, and uh, you have two value props and uh, uh, tendant revenue streams. Now you should notice what the Jersey Square team did wonderfully well is they actually started with the archetype. Um, the archetype, though, if you remember, is kind of the end result of understanding the pain and the gain uh, we were solving uh, with the value proposition. So they really were missing talking about gains and pains over here as well. And it would have been great if they had that um, added in, but a pretty good job in trying to understand what their archetype was, uh, which needed to match their minimum viable product uh, over here.